Our objectives are today you will be able to analyze different spheres of the earth and identify main characteristics of each sphere. Natural spheres of the earth. Everything on the earth can be categorized into four interconnected subsystems known as sphere. Each sphere contains unique type of activity that contribute to complete a system. The four spheres on earth are atmosphere, lithosphere, also called geosphere, hydrosphere and biosphere. In short, the four spheres consist of air, land, water and living things. Before starting the lesson, I will ask the question to check your previous knowledge about the topic. What comes in your mind when you see that picture? This is, this is the four spheres of the earth. Lithosphere, solid earth, hydrosphere for the water, atmosphere, gases that surround the earth and biosphere, life that exists on earth. Atmosphere. Atmosphere act like a blanket of earth. It is a mixture of gases that surrounds our earth. These uh, gases surround the earth or uh, due to the gravity. It allows the living things to thrive or flourish on earth. It begins from 1 mile below the earth's surface to the 10,000 km above it. Any changes in the lower layer, troposphere and stratosphere causes weather phenomenon like uh, wind and storms. Atmosphere traps the heat uh, and keep uh, the earth warm. It filters very harmful cosmic rays and sun's ultraviolet rays. Cosmic rays are very harmful rays in the space. Uh, it, if it comes on the surface of the earth, it destroys the DNA of living things. That's why uh, atmosphere filters these cosmic rays and very high temperature are ultraviolet rays to come on the surface of earth. Without it, earth become cold and lifeless because we know that at night time, the earth reflects back the sun rays into the space. But due to the atmosphere, many of the rays or many of the heat trap into the atmosphere and it makes our keep our earth warm. Second uh, sphere is lithosphere that is also called geosphere. Lithosphere. Lithosphere is a solid outer part that includes the upper portion of mantle and crust. It is the coolest and most rigid part as compared to the other layers of the earth's internal structure because the temperature of mantle and core is very high and life is not possible in, this, uh, in these two uh, layers of the earth. Lithosphere is split into small number of huge slabs. These slabs known as tectonic plates. These are 7 major and 14 minor plates. These plates move due to the heat generated in the mantle. This heat is called convection current. When this convection current move in the upper portion of the mantle, these plates move in different ways. The plates move in three ways. First, when these plates collide into or move toward each other. When these plates diverge from each other means move away from each other. Or when two plates slide against or move side by side. Many geological events take place due to the movement of these plates like earthquake, volcanoes or and tsunamis. Total amount of water on earth that is stored on the surface of the earth, in the underground or in the air all come into the hydrosphere. Water can be in any form, liquid water, in solid form like ice or in gaseous form like water vapor come into the uh, earth hydrosphere. Water transforms its state as it goes through various processes in the water cycle. 
when the water or liquid water transform into the gaseous form it's called evaporation means due to the heat the water uh, convert into the gas for gas gaseous form in water vapor this process is called evaporation when these water vapor go upward due to the less temperature in high on high altitude these gaseous form of water again convert into the uh, water droplet or liquid water this process is known as condensation means the conversion of water from gaseous form to liquid water is called condensation these these uh, the, these are very tiny droplets when these tiny droplets combine with each with each other and make large droplet it this it makes clouds when clouds does not have more capacity to hold the water it precipitate precipitation can be in any form in uh, like snow rain hail or fog and this is again convert into the uh, water water as rain or snow is stored in the river and ocean which evaporates in the water vapor again this whole process is called hydrologic cycle this is the process of hydrologic cycle biosphere all every type of life come into the biosphere and life in the atmosphere or hydrosphere or lithosphere also come into the biosphere 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 part of earth where life exist life from in the root of the trees or bottom of the ocean and top of the mountain all life come in the biosphere life between 500 meter below ocean to 6 kilometer above the sea level earliest life forms uh, existed 3.5 billion years ago called prokaryotes prokaryotes like bacteria these organisms photosynthesized under sunlight to sustain other form of life that feed on them more species of plants and animal developed as nutrients are passed on from from one organism to another through the food web any change in the uh, one species can affect the whole food web this is our today lesson there are some questions for you you can do this question on loose sheet this question to are uh, to check your knowledge thank you so much have a nice day